Hey guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at something a bit different, a thing that you've probably heard about in certain point of time, a sensor based controller called by the name of Leap Motion. As you can see the product box is rather small and simple, on the front there is a picture of the device and up there you can also notice by the writings that this particular model is meant for the German market. On the bottom you'll find the minimum system requirements and operating system support and some talk about the general support and warranty which is one year long, while on the back you can see a picture of the leap motion in use and the usual overview of the features. Opening up the box, right on the top you'll be greeted by this some sort of quick start guide and beside it you'll get the usual and a bit longer user manual, an USB cable and of course the leap motion itself. The device is just a bit bigger than the regular LiDAR, it's really really small and in a way because of that very simple and straightforward design wise. Outer border is wrapped around in this aluminium sheet which actually looks quite nice and gives the device a nice quality feel to it. On the bottom you'll find rubberized surface for better grip with LEAP logo on it, on the top sensor surface and on the left side an USB connector which is actually by the looks of it a 3.0 standard. Connecting up the device to it you will notice the green LED indicator light and a bunch of little red blinking dots going berserk from that sensor top. Beneath that glossy glass hides two monochromatic infrared cameras and three infrared LEDs which generate a sort of 3D scanning area with a scan distance of 1 meter from the device and in a hemispherical pattern. All this hardware in combination with the complex algorithms and firmware software running in the background make the leap motion a very cool and very powerful device. Basically motion control is the main theme in this case and in a nutshell all comes down to a simple gesture control with your hands. Alongside of leap motion software and application marketplace there is a lot of things you can do with this device. Although for the better ones you'll have to set aside some symbolic amounts, the free ones are actually quite entertaining and useful. You can for example control Google Earth application which supports leap motion natively, move around the globe, zoom in and out or do some other simple stuff like controlling your media buttons or switch between applications. Most of this depends on the installed applications from the marketplace, just browse them and see what suits your needs. Most of them work in the background once installed and activated, waiting for your gesture input to trigger an event or some other kind of control. Putting that aside, the main cognition of using this device actually comes down to the fact that we have endless possibilities for it, which were easily evoked just by using it for a few seconds in these simple apps like overviewing insides of the tarantula and playing chess. Because of that, Leap Motion allowed software developers to engage themselves into this story using Leap Motion SDK so they can create something new for the masses or for you to program something for yourself, something which will make your daily use of the PC more intuitive. In spite of that, the application marketplace offer is not that big, although the device itself is almost two years in circulation. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Leap Motion. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.